Hello, family. Welcome to the Black Forex Academy. My name is Laurent. You can call me Black. So in today's this in this week's breakdown, we're going to look on the majors again, and of course, gold. So without further ado, let's look into it. Now the first pair that we're looking at is Euro USD. As you can see, prices have broken above this ending diagonal pattern here, right? This ending diagonal pattern, prices have broken above it, right? So now what I'll be expecting to see is that prices reach this point here, reach this zone, right? And then once they reach here, I'm having two scenarios play out. So the first scenario is that prices will come back here on this zone here to look for more bullish momentum before actually breaking above and pushing higher, right? All the way up there. And the second scenario is that prices will break above here and keep on heading for the stars and the moon. So we'll be watching this pair closely and see how it plays out this coming week and see where we'll actually look for buying opportunities. Now we do have the second pair, that's GBPUSD. Um, GBPUSD, with this pair, I'm expecting to see prices fall to around this point here at around 1.35 before they actually take off and shoot for the stars, right? That's how I expect GBPUSD to play out this coming week. After this, it will be a very strong bullish run according to my, to my analysis, right? This is how I expect GBPUSD to play out. Now we do have USDJPY. With USDJPY, prices are actually in a very strong bearish move. So what I'll be expecting right now to see is that prices come down here, retest this broken structure here before they actually push down to keep on heading lower for the trenches, right? So that's how I expect GBPUSD to play up, um, USDJPY, excuse me. That's how I expect USDJPY to play out in this coming week. I'll be expecting to see prices short from this place here, or from this market structure here, all the way down here, USDJPY. We do have USD chef. We are in this trade running. I gave this signal even in the free group and I remember it. So we are now running at around 108 pips in profit after our first take profit was hit. So what we'll be expecting to see is that prices to keep on falling, but for right now, I'll be expecting to see prices retrace a bit to around this zone here to look for more bearish pressure. And then from here, if we get a nice opportunity, we'll be adding on positions to fall and go down with it all the way down here. So if you missed this position last week, don't worry, we're going to eat this week. Thank you. So we do have gold. With gold, um, now prices were actually in a very strong bullish move, right? Now, if we look at it from the weekly structure, you can actually see that prices have touched the, the first touch, second touch, and third touch here, leaving it with a strong pin and closing last week with the bullish and engulfing candlestick, right? So that means the bulls are back in control. Now, back on the daily, we can actually see prices broke above this trend line, right? Prices broke above this trend line, meaning they've broken this market structure and then giving us this some sort of common base, some sort of a double bottom, right? I'm saying some sort of because a double bottom is only valid when the neckline is broken here. And as you can see, prices are still around that point. So I can't actually say that the neckline is broken, but based on this market structure here, we are sure that prices will keep on heading high, right? So it's only a matter of time. So our target in gold will be around here at around 187, 187. So Right now, what I'll be expecting to see the market do this coming week is that I'll be expecting to see prices break above this market structure, 
break above this market structure, this resistance area, retest it, and then after it gives us a retest, that's when we'll be pulling the trigger to actually keep on heading higher. But if prices retrace all the way down here to this trend line, we'll be taking the trade from down here, pushing here, adding a second position here, and then keep on heading higher. But if it doesn't and it breaks above this point here, then we'll just be taking the position from above here. So that's all for today, guys. I hope this video has been of value to you. If so, give us a quick like. Don't forget to subscribe for the future content that we'll be providing by the channel. Until next time, guys, peace and love.